Hi everyone, T here from Fitness to a T. Welcome back to my channel. And thank you so much everyone for commenting on the videos, liking, sharing them, subscribing to my channel as well. You are welcome here and I really appreciate you. And oh, what a glorious day it is. It's really chilly, yeah, quite chilly, but the sunshine is just glorious. So today I'm answering a question that I'm always asked. And the question is, what is the best diet? And when I was thinking of the answer to this, I was like, I could literally record a three hour video, but I won't do that. I'm going to summarize my answer in this short video. So here goes. So first of all, I'm gonna say who this video is for. So this video is for you, Boo Boo. If you've tried several diets, maybe you try a diet, it works, you lose some weight, you come off the diet, you gain the weight back, maybe even more than before, then you go back onto that diet again or try a different diet. This video is also for you if you're wanting to lose weight and you're thinking, hmm, what is the best diet for me to do? And I really want you to remember that I am not knocking anyone who's on a diet or a particular way of eating. You might be doing fasting, keto, ETC, ETC. There's so many diets out there and it's working for you. You love it. Um, it's sustainable. You think that you can do it for the rest of your life. Great. This video is not for you. So I'm going to go back to talking to you if you're on a roller coaster yo-yo with these diets or you're just so frustrated because you want to lose weight but you just don't know which diet to pick. So I'm going to come in nice and close. Listen up, listen up. There is no best diet. I repeat, there is no best diet. So diets, so you can probably tell I'm not a fan of diets, but diets, especially the ones that are very calorie restricting, are not um, sustainable and they can be really damaging on your mental health as well. So listen to this. Science says 95% of people who go on diets, especially the crash diets, the really calorie restricting diets, regain the weight they've lost within two years. And a lot of them as well, even more weight than what they had before. So diets are not our besties so you might be wondering well t how do you eat um how do your clients eat so in terms of how i eat and how i found a sustainable way to eat into my 40s i really make sure that i eat from all the food groups so having my proteins healthy fats healthy carbs and same with my clients and remember nutrition is not a one size fits all approach we are also different in the way that our bodies work. Um, we're also different in the things that we like to eat as well, because I'm really a great, great fan of when you're eating healthy, eat the things that you enjoy. Don't eat things, they taste horrible to you, but you're just stuffing them down because you're like, it's healthy, it's healthy. No, that is torture, <laughs> okay? That is a prison sentence, and that is a prison sentence that you do not need to lay on yourself. So whatever healthy food you eat, you can enjoy. There are so many different yummy, healthy things out there. And I'll be making sure to make a video on that very soon. Scientifically, it's also been shown that diets increase the hunger hormone ghrelin. So that increases your feeling of wanting to eat. It decreases the feelings of fullness or feeling full. And also it can slow your metabolism as well. So the way that I eat, just for my personal um, uh, approach to my eating, I find that by eating a few meals uh, during the day, so I have five and four to five in total, and these are not large meals, but um, you know I have three meals which are you know the bigger meals, and then I have two small snacks. I found that that really keeps me feeling full um, for most of the day, and I hardly ever feel hungry so to speak and you know my my body has become conditioned to know the times that I need to eat at a certain time each day I'll start to feel okay now it's time for my snack I'll have something certain time it's time for lunch and I follow that that pattern I'm sitting on a really comfortable rock 
I have to show you this wrong. But on a serious note, um, I think one of the hardest things that I see from dieting is the way that it affects people's mental health. It can really um, affect the way that you view, you view food. You view food. You view food. <laughs> so it can really affect the way that um, you view food. When you're into a lifestyle of dieting, it can become about if I eat this, will I gain weight? If I eat this, will I um, you know, lose weight? And things like that. And then it takes away from the... The, the fun of food, like I love food because it helps me to connect to the people I love. I love going out to eat, to eat in restaurants with people that I want to spend time with. I love going out for coffee. Um, I love, you know, experiencing the taste of yummy um, foods and trying different things as well. There's something that uh, is living involved in that too. I also see um, a lot of people, like the clients that I've worked with in the past, get really affected by what they'll eat when they go out. So just really struggling with social settings as well. So it's really about being kind to ourselves and learning to understand that, you know, once you come out of that dieting lifestyle and you find a way of eating that is healthy and sustainable, it's to, it should still allow you to be able to go into a social setting and not feel like, you're a bad person, you're a bad girl, you're a, a, a naughty boy because you've, you've eaten a slice of cake or something. Life is not, should not be like that. Um, and you can enjoy your food and sustain that healthy way of eating without staying on crash diets. Remember as well to comment below this video, like, share with others that you care about and subscribe to my channel. In terms of mental health as well, um, binge eating can also result from going on diets. So for example, let's say you've dieted for a week, a couple of days, maybe weeks on end, and then suddenly you just falter, <laughs> falter. And I'm using that very loosely because it should not be about failing or winning um, at dieting because personally, I feel that a diet is already has already set you up to fail in a way or set you up for disappointment. Yes, you may achieve your goal, but I think that those questions of is it sustainable, that main question of is it sustainable will always linger. So binge eating is something that is real and feelings of low self-worth and failure and disappointment um, and looking down on yourself and not feeling good enough can arise from binge eating. I would love to have more of a conversation around um, eating disorders. So if there's anyone out there who is watching and you're in the mental health space or you're someone who works with people who go through eating disorders, please do reach out. I would love to have that conversation on this channel because I think that it will be very healing for a lot of people and even for our younger generation as well. Now, a positive way forward is to ask yourself these questions. One, have you tried dieting before? What diet or diets did you try? And how did it work out? If it worked out for you, why did you stop? And when you stopped, how easy was it to get back into a different way of eating from your diet? What were your results after you stopped dieting? And how quickly did you notice the changes? Also ask yourself, is it sustainable? Can you do that diet or that way of eating for a sustained period of time? Could you do it as a lifestyle? Next question, what are you going to do after the diet? Yes, you're going to do this diet. But what is your plan of action once you stop this diet? So those are questions that you can really consider. A very important one as well is your mental and emotional health. How will that be affected? If you're living with other people, family, for example, how will it affect your day-to-day -day with them as well? Do you think you're going to feel irritable and moody most of the time because of this diet? Consider your emotions. Consider how you feel even for work as well. Remember that you can eat most foods, all foods, in moderation so could you not focus on eating in a way where yes you are still eating everything but you're eating the foods that are not so healthy in limited um, amounts so for myself I eat 
my treat meals or my cheat meals, whatever you want to call it, at the weekend. And Saturday for me is a day where I feel like I can eat whatever I want, guilt-free. Sunday, I'll probably eat a few things that are not so healthy, but then on Monday, I'm back on track. So I focus on 80% healthy, 20% not so healthy. And that really sustains me in my 40s. So I hope you've enjoyed that quick video on diets. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please feel free to comment um, below this video or just send me a message. All the links are in the video description. If you also want to find out about my customized one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching, please do get in touch. There is a link below this video where you can actually book a free chat with me and we can just talk about your goals and I can help you further or answer any of your questions.